Hi everyone, this is Oscar Payne, I'm the lead artist for the Aether 2, and your third batch of airmail has arrived, introducing Lanterns and Dungeons. Now if you missed last week's airmail, you can find a link to the video in the description below. The upcoming mutation expansion pack for the Aether 2 brings many changes in content additions to the mod. With this, you'll find that dungeons are bigger and darker than ever, making it even more of a challenge to traverse these unforgiving environments. As developers, this has been quite a challenge for us as well. How do we keep these dungeons difficult but not to the point of annoyance? We've come up with a few solutions which we'll present today in this video. First of all, we found that dungeons are quite dark, and placing torches everywhere becomes quite troublesome, which is not something we initially intended. In order to solve this, we have introduced dynamic lighting in the form of newly craftable lanterns. These curious additions come in two types, ambrosium lanterns and iron lanterns. Iron lanterns use torches as fuel, whereas ambrosium lanterns, just as the name suggests, are fueled by ambrosium shards. These lanterns can also be used in combat. By right clicking on the floor to quickly place it down to light up the area, this allows you to quickly switch to your weapon when faced by dangers lurking in the dark. Lanterns can also be quickly picked back up by left clicking or right clicking it with an empty hand. Lanterns do not last forever though. The more you use them, the lower their fuel becomes. This means you'll need to keep an eye on exactly how much fuel your lantern has when traversing the Aether. And now we come back to the Q&A section of the video. Our first question of the week is, when you guys update Aether 1, will you be able to install both Aether 1 and Aether 2 and play both at the same time? Now this is something we really want to allow for. It's possible that upon entering the portal, you can choose which Aether realm you would like to enter. However, we'll see if we can think of a better solution once the time comes. Our second question is, will the Aether 2 launcher ever have an offline mode? I'm not always connected to the internet on my PC, and thus cannot play the Aether. Initially, we did not include an offline mode, because we didn't have enough time to work on the launcher. However, we have planned to add this feature before Mutation is released, so you can look forward to that in the upcoming months. Our third and final question is, I'm not sure if you guys mentioned this or not, but have air whales been updated? In the Aether 1 they were, for a lack of a better word, derpy. They kept attempting to fly through the floating islands. The air has actually already had some smaller changes made to it this update, but we are going to tweak it some more before mutation releases. Also, we do actually have really big plans for passive mobs such as the air whale after the mutation update. Once the mutation expansion pack is released, we plan to style our content patches in a similar fashion to keep consistent themes between each expansion pack. However, so we don't keep everyone waiting so long, we do plan to keep our updates a little smaller this time around. Well that's the end of the Q&A section for this week. Don't forget to ask us your questions in the comments section below or on our Facebook fan page, and we'll try to do our best to answer them in future airmail videos. As a new segment to our airmail posts, we'd like to introduce our very first Community Spotlight. In these segments, we'll promote any cool or interesting either related art, videos, or creations submitted by our fans. For our first Community Spotlight, we'd like to show off an incredible fan-made model by a talented guy called Joe for our future carrion creature in the mutation update. We think it's so good that we've decided to implement it directly into the mod with his permission. Thanks again Joe, and keep up the awesome work. If anyone else would like to see that Aether related content featured on these AML videos, please post it in the comment section below. And that's it for now, thank you all for watching, we'll see you next week, so stay tuned.